So guys, what's going on? It's new video, and today we are back in Ark Survival Evolved, and today we got ourselves a brand new update we're going to be playing. We are playing on the version 181.0 update, and this version came with a bunch of new stuff involving two new dinosaurs that we're going to go ahead and, uh, honestly, we're going to go searching for them and trying to show them off. There's also some other cool stuff, like some new engrams, but the main thing I want to show off is these new dinosaurs. Uh... One of them I think is relatively easy to tame, the other one is absolutely gigantic and definitely won't be tamed this episode, but we'll see about the other one, because it actually, uh, I'll talk about it in a little bit here, right now I'm trying to focus, there's some sort of a new, new recipe, it's actually a trap, uh, I'm trying to see if it's unlocked for me yet, it might be like a higher level thing, because looking at this, I believe what they have is, uh, uh, it's like some kind of poison trap or something, I think it might be a bit higher level than we are though, because looking here, I may have glanced over it, one of you guys may have seen it, if so, tell me in the comment section down below, honestly, tell me in the comment section if you know what level in general it is, because this update literally just came out, so it's really fresh, that's a perfect adjective, right, really fresh, I'm starving right now, I realize that, uh, but, yeah, I mean, I might have glanced over it, but I think traps are something a bit higher level, so maybe not, anyways, we gotta eat, we don't have any food, oh shit, I thought I was cooking food this entire time. Uh, we just killed the Carnotaurus though because they tend to attack our base for some reason, so that's good. We need to get some wood on this fire before we venture out because we're probably going to starve to death. And starvation usually isn't good here. We have a bunch of supplies actually, I didn't want to show off some base building. Uh, if it wasn't for the update that just came out, I was going to do a little bit of base building. But today I want to venture out because a lot of you guys say, oh you stay so close to base all the time. You know what, that's true. So let's venture out, let's have ourselves some fun. And uh, hopefully that is that is the plan. So first things first, let's get this shit cooking so we don't starve to death. And while that's happening, first things first, let's actually eat one piece of meat or something. We could get some berries off. Yeah, let's just get some berries off Mike here. And I do have something else I want to show you guys very quickly. First things first, like I said, let's get these berries. We'll just throw them in like the seven slot or something. Just munch the fuck out of them. And we should be good <laughs> very or food wise after that. Anyways, like I was saying, we got ourselves a brand new mount, too, as you can see through this clusterfuck of dinosaurs. Peter Griffin, a level 12 Argentavis. We don't have the saddle for him quite yet. We actually got to save up and get the keratin, get the materials, so we can uh, trade it with a demo so he gets us a saddle. But we have ourselves, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. Anyways, let's set his aggression to, uh, whatchamacallit, let's put his ass on neutral just in case because he was on attacking target. And uh, he does have himself a couple levels, I think. Yeah, he's got... One level, actually. He's got... Oh, we can we can rip the Argentavis talons off him? Oh my god, that's awful. Do we do... Do we do that? I don't know. Um, anyways, what I want to do with them, though, because from what I've heard, Argentavises are not the greatest health-wise, or they take a lot of damage or something. Let's up his health a bit, and then... Let's get Diego. Let's ride the hell out of here. Right off into the sunset. Hopefully we're not stuck in this thing. Oh, shit. I think we're stuck. God damn it. How do we manage... This? These dinosaurs are a clusterfuck. Jesus. Oh my god. Uh... Enable following on that guy, if we can even get out of this mess. Shit, yeah, I don't know how we're gonna do this. Oh my god. That's what happens when you leave your dinosaurs on neutral, just this shit. Anyway, sorry. Maybe if we do it this way, we can get off, because we, like, hop off to the right. Nope, get off. Get, mm. Dude, why? Why you do this? There we go, there we go, come on, just let me off. There we go. Let's get the Argentavis to follow us here. There we go. And now he's fixed. Let's throw you on disable follow. And we can actually ride Diego off into the sunset. First things first, though, let's get some food. Yeah, Peter Griffin, though, look at that. I think it was like a red Argentavis. Simply beautiful. Anyways, I didn't want to discuss, though, about the new mounts. So, two new dinosaurs. I believe the one is the Plesiosaur, and the other one is, like, Ichiosaur. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. You guys will probably see it in the title of the video. Uh, take a guess at pronouncing that. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's like the Ichthyosaurus, something like that. And uh, the way that it's tamed is actually very unique. You don't have to knock it out to tame it. Supposedly with this mount, all you have to do... Let's close that up. All you have to do with this mount is actually just, you know, hand feed it berries or some shit. Something along those lines. You don't have to actively knock it out. And for the most part, what it acts as is like a beginning water mount, I think. It's relatively low level. I wonder if we can actually craft the saddle now that I think about it. Let's look around here. I think it's a pretty low level saddle. Yeah, the Ichthyosaurus saddle. Very low level, as you can see there. It's on par with the Parasaurus, so I think that's like... Oh shit, what the fuck's going on? A scorpion attacked us? What the fuck? Since when are there scorpions around here? Well, good job, Diego. Uh, anyways, oh yeah, there's some sad news discussing Diego we gotta talk about too. Anyways, though, let's uh, learn this thing, just in case, because we can craft it, worst case scenario. Let's bring the cooked meat with us. We have one extra raw meat, that's whatever. And let's get a bunch of berries too, so we can feed it, worst case. I'll bring, or finish up this stack, and that's a 95. 
Split the Azul berries in half. We got a perfect stack of 100. That's plenty of berries. That right there better be enough to feed. I don't know if this thing... I think this thing's just an herbivore, so we should be fine if we do find it. And it might be in, like, waters. There we have the mythical turtle stuck in there. Anyways, let's go out and begin adventuring. Shit. Begin adventuring and trying to find these things. That is so shiny. Jesus Christ. So, yeah, that's the way it's tamed. The bad news with Diego, if you look at his melee damage... Oh, fuck, that's me. That's not Diego. His melee damage, it was over 500% before, uh, but unfortunately, Sabertooths were kind of extremely OP, so they went ahead and nerfed the uh, damage curve, if you guys know what that is. Pretty much the damage curve, like, leveling up. If you put points into melee damage, apparently Sabertooths were getting a lot of points, and that's why they were absolute tanks. The game is... There we go. Good, good job, game. Don't freeze on me. Yeah, that's, that's what made them absolute tanks, is that they had, like, a really high damage ratio for every time I leveled them up. So they actually went in and nerfed that uh, by, like, 50%. And it is retroactive as well, so it kind of does go backwards, too, which, I mean, kind of sucks for Diego because he used to be a monster. But, let's be honest, he's, he's still a monster. And I, I love him. He's got, like, tiger-lion designs on him. It's awesome. Anyways, you're looking at the patch notes, I got a couple of them pulled up here. Yeah, the Sabertooth level up damage scaling reduced by 50%. What we're going to be doing here is looking around and seeing if possibly we could find ourselves one of these things. There's a Pteranodon in the water anyways. Pretty much the game plan is just, you know, dive underwater and see if maybe we can see some of these things. That in the distance, there's probably a shark, I'm not going to lie. Don't want to tussle with those. Albeit, we do have a pike, we could probably do some work on it. Anyways, let's swim a bit into this water. We can looking for because both new mounts actually. That's definitely a shark, yeah. Both new mounts. Or new dinosaurs. And mounts technically too. They are both water mounts. Plus he soars the massive one. I don't actually know what level you have to be for the mount yet. I'm guessing it's like higher than what I am, because if I look at the engram points here. Looking at it, we do not have the ability to craft a plesiosaur saddle. So it's probably a relatively high level one. We got the Anklo, the Mammoth. Could be like 45, 50, something like that. Because supposedly what you can do from their dossier that they were talking about uh, with them, apparently, apparently, I don't know if there's just a dossier talking, like trying to mention how massive it is, but you're going to be able to actually build on their backs and it's going to be like a mobile base. That's what the dossier said. There's been no, like, I don't think there's been any official word about that. But if that is true, that is kind of one of the most badass things I've ever heard. And we seriously got to, like... So that's, that's something in the distance. I wish I still had Crockpot, unfortunately. He died. Bad news there. He died when a wild Carno attacked. And that's why I gotta start doing something to actually have room for these guys. Like, we gotta get a bigger dinosaur gate going soon. Because, uh, the one we currently have is definitely not cutting it up. I see something in the distance. I don't know if that's a shark? Uh, no, that's definitely a shark now that the shape's kind of coming into play a bit. Yeah, let's make our way back to shore then. Nothing here for us. Kind of unfortunate. I, I don't know where these guys are the most... Oh, is that it? Or is that a fish? That's just a coelacanth. God damn it. <laughs> I thought it might have been something. It wasn't. Uh, I'm going to cry. Anyways, no, let's not care about crying. Let's go ahead. Get back to Diego and I guess I'll go around a little bit. I'm not because like this is brand new too. I don't think anyone's really discovered their spawn points and like the best areas to find them. Like with crocodiles, best way to find them is like the south coast. You know, anklos, mammoths, best place is, like, to find them by the mountains. I mean, obviously, they're going to be found in water. We we can deduce that. But other stuff about it, we don't really know. So that's kind of, I don't know, I guess we're going to have to figure that out as we go. But our best bet is seriously just move along the coast here. And try and see what we can find, like, that floating... What the fuck? Did anyone else just see that? Or am I crazy? <laughs> I hope I'm not crazy. Yeah, I don't know, though. Plesiosaur definitely is going to be found in deep water. I just think they're a bit rarer to be found. Uh, I could go swimming with Diego, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. Because I'm not sure how good of a swimmer Diego is. And I'd rather not find out, especially if there would be sharks attacking us simultaneously. Anyways, what I'm, what I'm probably going to go ahead and do then is just search around the island a little bit and try and find one or two of these, one or two of the dinosaurs. And uh, along with that, just see if there's any other cool stuff. Uh, but... Other than that, yeah, I guess I will talk to you guys whenever there's some interesting shit going on. So, see you then. Wait, this is a naked guy. What the fuck? TX Gorilla. Ooh, take that. Ooh, take that. I can't take him? Can I not take him? Aw. 
Yeah, apparently they're stuck on his ass. We can take the glasses, though. Yeah, 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 we can throw those glasses on, like, our scorpion or some shit. <laughs> Anyways, now then, for real, I will see you guys in a bit. Uh, Alright, guys, so I just found an ichthyosaur, but I think, uh, I think I hit record a little bit too late because it seems they just got gangbanged by three different sharks, so, uh... Shits. Well, it seems that they are definitely a little bit... They're, they're relatively common from what I've heard. Just the problem with it is that it just so happens that sharks like to eat them. And, uh, mm, yeah, it is, uh, it's, it's usually not good when the mount you're trying to tame gets eaten. But I did just see one right there by the gang. Mm, I mean, that sucks, unfortunately. But, I mean, it is good info to have that apparently they are... I've heard that they can be found all over. I actually did do a little bit of asking. I actually asked Jet, the guy who, you know, community manager for the game. And uh, what he told me, Plesios, they are... We're not going to find those things on accident. Those things are found in deep, deep, deep ocean. Like, you got to go... You got to go far out. You got to go down low. Like, you're not just going to wander across those near the shore. That shit's not going to happen. So, that's going to have to be a bit more of a dedicated effort and definitely... Uh, whenever we tame that thing, which I, I didn't even ask how long it's going to take, that probably would have been a good question. It's, it's definitely going to take a while, though. I mean, especially if it's, like, one of the higher-level mounts, it is not going to be a short taming time. At least I don't think so. You never know. So that's going to be, uh, something that hopefully we can do with the tribe, is tame one of those things. And this ichthyosaur, again, I'm not sure if you guys saw it. I did see it for, like, a split second, but I might have hit record a little bit too late. And the thing might have just been, like, nowhere to be found. But supposedly ichthyosaurs... I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. They can be found all over. Just the problem is that where they are found, there are usually sharks that have quite recently eaten them. Case in point, this. <laughs> so uh, I mean, yeah, I don't think they. I don't think they're like in rivers. I think that's a bit too shallow for them. Like I've been, I've been scouring the seven fucking seas, right? And I've been finding a lot of sharks. So I'm guessing that the sharks have just been absolutely munching on them, which does suck. But I mean, it's good information to have. And uh, is that a purple airdrop? No, it's a. Is that a purple? Or is that white? I think that might be white. If that was purple, I was about to be like, I will snatch that every day of the week, but no. So, uh, I mean, I did just see one. They seem to be relatively big, relatively decently sized. Uh, again, you guys might not have been able to see it, but from what I saw, they're about the size of this saber tooth, maybe a bit bigger. Uh, sharks were definitely bigger than them. And uh, considering the fact he just got gangbanged by three of them, why is that Stego? Oh, he's on a rock. I was about to be like, that doesn't make sense for Mr. Stego. Anyways, yeah, we're quite a way away from home, so... I don't know. I mean, I definitely saw ones though. So this this water here, they can definitely be found here. I think just the problem is that they get their asses eaten often. So that kind of sucks. But again, from what I was about to say, from what Diego was telling me, from what Jet was telling me, uh, they can be found all over. They can be found deep water. They can be found, uh, you know, relatively close to the surface. They can be found in between. You know, they're pretty versatile, like the plesiosaurs. That shit is going to be found down low. And actually, there's another croc. Oh, yeah, and you guys might be asking, wait, Crockpot, what, what happened to him? I mentioned that earlier. Yeah, uh, Crockpot died when a Carnotaurus attacked us. And I don't know why there was a Carnotaurus attacking our base. That hasn't happened very often lately. But I did just see another croc here. I swear I just fucking saw a crocodile here. He had to, yeah. No, that's a rock. There was a crocodile here, though. You guys saw him too, right? I'm, I'm, I'm not insane, right? There was a croc. <laughs> God damn it. I'm just seeing things. I was not seeing that ichthyosaur. That thing was definitely here. And I mean, I've been searching for such a long time, but unfortunately, my luck has uh, been utter shit. That's probably the closest uh, closest description I can come up with. And I'm, If you look at the map, you want to see how far I've traveled? I'm over, I believe, on the island where Cave 2 is, and then you can see the pinpoint that says our home. We've scoured pretty much a fourth of the available shoreline. And not found much. To be fair, though, we do not have a water mount to travel out on, which does suck a lot, actually. We could take out the turtle, actually, but... Actually, now that I think about it... Mm, I just said actually a lot, too. That's that's pretty bad. That's 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 stupid. Uh, oh, shit, we're going hungry. Let's eat some of this. Yeah, we could take out the turtle and possibly see if we can do anything with that and scour the seas. Because, I mean, no one's using the turtle, really. And it's technically in the pen, and pretty much it's my pen at this point, because no one else uses it. So who knows? Uh, I see something purple here. Is that just algae? Damn it, I thought maybe that was what we were looking for. Holy shit, someone's built a bit of a base down here, too. Hmm. All right, let's get back on Diego, do a little bit more searching. I mean, I'm super sorry I could not show you guys these, but 
I mean, hopefully you got a little bit of a glimpse of the ichthyosaur getting just absolutely destroyed by that shark mob, but... Uh, from what I heard, the ichthyosaur, it's about an hour to tame. That is what I asked. Uh, probably about an hour. That's pretty much a quote from what I asked. Uh, someone fenced off this entire island. Holy shit. These guys are insane. God damn. Yeah, but I don't think, like, these super shallow waters are where we're going to find them. Like I said, I think, like, kind of close to the shoreline is where they're going to be found. Just the problem is sharks, because sharks are... They're going to be terrorizing any and all water. So, that is the issue we're going to pretty much constantly be running across with really anything. Like, even the plesiosaur. I think the shark is the plesiosaur's predator. So, that might be an issue there. But besides that, uh, obelisk, uh, some other stuff... And the patch notes, uh, structure paint looks more effective and fully covers the surface. Fun fact there. Uh, taming with fi higher taming affinity, which I think is like the more saber tooths you tame, your saber tooth taming affinity goes up. Uh, taming with a higher taming affinity now increases the base level of dinos up to 50% if 100% effectiveness, improving its base stats. So that's pretty awesome. They added the mammoth dossier. Apparently that wasn't in the game for some reason. Uh, you know, was that someone's fucking mount? I think so. Anyways, nothing down in this little shallow ass river. Yeah, of course not. I remember this, though. This is where we started out the series, actually. How far we've come, really, to think about ever since part one. <laughs> oh, man, it's been a while. Anyways, uh, like I said, looking at the patch notes, C4 can be placed and detonated underwater, so we can go back, terrorize the sharks a little bit in exchange for the shit they're giving us. Uh, use of sleeping bags now triggers cooldown to all sleeping bags nearby. So, like, in PvP, you can't place, like, ten sleeping bags and uh, just can sit, like can constantly respawn on them if they're really close. So, kind of, like, sleeping bags count for each other, if that makes sense? E I don't know. Uh, uh, <gasps> are those sharks or are those dolphins? Those might be sharks. Th those are actually definitely sharks. God damn it. Oh, those are a lot of sharks. Sweet mother of... Oh my god, that's deep water. Ho ho ho! Yeah. That is definitely deep. You know what, though? I think there's oil down there. That's actually... Ooh, this shoreline's really good for oil, if that's the case, because, uh... That's a good chunk of it. And this seems like the shoreline where we could potentially find some of these plesiosaurs, because, uh... That... That looks pretty deep to me. And also, these sharks are getting interested in us. I don't know, we're not really going too deep. I don't think... As soon as we cross over this line is where the sharks start getting interested in us. And, uh... <laughs> given our current situation, it's probably not a good idea to do that. Mm, yeah, well, I mean, the problem is, if there are megalodons nearby, what I've been able to deduce, if there are megalodons nearby, you're probably not going to find any of the ichthys, because they can't really defend themselves against a gigantic-ass shark, so, if you're seeing fins in the water, my best guess is that you're not going to be seeing the dolphin fins, which is pretty much what the ichthyosaur is, it's, it's like, kind of like a dolphin, so, I mean, hopefully next episode, I'll actually be able to find one of you guys, but I did definitely just want to make this video, inform you guys that the update is out, tell you a little bit about the stuff, and all that jazz, that's really, really all I could say. I mean, I, I could try and craft up the saddle for it if you guys really want. We could, we could at least take a look at what we need for it. We got the craftable, we got the ichthyosaur saddle. Uh, oh, we actually need met raw metal. That's weird. <laughs> Still, there you go. You need 55 hide, 50 fiber, 20 wood, 10 metal, and 8 flints to make. Uh, the plesiosaur saddle, no clue. That is a higher level saddle that we are not quite at yet. And I mean... I'll patrol the shoreline a little bit more. We'll kind of dive into the water one more time, but... I mean, hopefully this video is giving you guys a bit of a general clue as to how rare these things might be. I think the ichthyosaur, though, it isn't rare, just... It dies a lot. <laughs> That's what it is. But the plesiosaur, like I said, that is a tad bit more on the rare side because you do have to dive down so deep. Like, the ichthyosaurs can be found pretty much in most water-based areas, just the plesiosaur... That's going to be a bit of an adventure, but that's an adventure I can't wait to undertake, and hopefully you guys cannot wait either. So definitely something I'm going to be excited about. And uh, sweet mother of sharks. That's a lot of them. I wish I could venture down there. You know what? That is why, though, lately, what I've been putting my stats into, a lot of oxygen to begin preparing for our deep sea treks and having some fun there. So uh, definitely expect some more deep sea stuff. We haven't really done anything in the sea yet in the series. And I feel like that's something that we should definitely do, so I'm kind of excited to potentially go into that. I see a gigantic rock formation. Maybe that's a plesiosaur. <laughs> no, probably not. It's definitely something, though. Wait, is that a shark? Yeah, it's a shark. Kind of looked like... It's a little bit different. Looks like it was a bit smaller than a shark. So I'm like, maybe... No, there's no maybe in this world. 
only shattered dreams. Anyways, like I was saying, that's going to do it for me for this video. So new updates. If you have ARC, go check it out. If, if you guys have Twitter or something, tweet me pictures of the Ichthyosaur and or the Plesiosaur if you find them. Because I want to see these things in action. Because I swear to God, I saw one of them. But I need to know exactly what they look like in game and see if that was indeed what we were looking for. I'm starting to get cold in this water. That's bad. Anyways, I got to go ahead. I got to take like a half an hour trek back to my house. So that's going to be fun. But other than that, we're going to be doing more videos. Like I said, hopefully a nice tribe taming session of the Plesiosaur. That'll be fun. And uh, yeah, Broodmother on the way. I think all together with the tribe, we have like three or four artifacts. And the animal things are really easy to get. We already have enough Megalodon too, because I was killing a lot of them lately. With a Croc back when he was alive. And uh, yeah, you know, Broodmother coming soon, definitely. And we're going to destroy the shit out of that thing. But uh, that's really all I can say. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. As always, if you did... Be sure to like and subscribe. Sign out. Love you guys. See you.